Hi everyone, my name is Justin Sterling. I'm an attorney and founder of The Sterling Firm. We are discussing the advantages and disadvantages of utilizing the different types of partnerships as the business form for the production company and as a financing vehicle. Partnerships. Oftentimes, a filmmaker will associate with a writer and a director. If the relationships are not properly structured, the parties may unknowingly or unintentionally create a partnership. In such a situation, each party gains the right to bind the others. A partnership is formed when two or more people associate for the purpose of engaging in a business for profit, whether they intend to or not. Partners share the profits and losses in a business. Although not required, it is highly suggested to have an agreement in writing of how the partnership will be operated. This written document is known as the partnership agreement. If there is only an oral agreement, for example, nothing in writing, the applicable state laws will control and impute certain rights and obligations on the partners, which generally consist of an equal vote and an equal share in the profits and losses. It is important to note that in any profit sharing agreement, the filmmaker should express in writing how the profits and losses are to be shared. If the agreement states that the losses will be split 60-40, but does not mention how the profits will be split, the law will consider the profits to be shared evenly, 50-50, regardless of who contributes the majority of the capital or does the majority of the work. It is important to have all the terms in writing the factors that indicate the parties have formed a partnership include 1. Expression of intent to be partners 2. Contribution of money or property to the common business 3. Participation and control of the common business 4. The right to receive profits of the common business and 5. Sharing of losses or liabilities in the common business Partners in a partnership may be individuals, other partnerships, corporations, other li limited liability companies, LLCs, or a combination of such entities if more than two partners. There are three kinds of partnerships. One, general partnerships. Two, joint ventures. And three, limited partnerships, LPs. Let's start with general partnerships. A general partnership is formed when each partner has an interest in all of the partnership property. Each general partner is liable for all the business debts and each general partner contributes money, property, or labor in exchange for a partnership share, which reflects the amount contributed. Again, it is highly suggested to have a written partnership agreement, although it is not required by law. In fact, there is no registration requirement for a general partnership. A fictitious business statement must be filed if the partners want to conduct business by a different name. An SS four form must be filed with the IRS to get an employer identification number, even if the partnership does not have employees. A major disadvantage is the unlimited liability of general partners. Each general partner is liable for the full extent of the acts of the other general partners. Each general partner can act on behalf of the partnership and bind the other general partners. Not only can the partnership be sued, but each individual general partner can be sued individually and incur personal liability to satisfy the partnership, partnership debts. This is a major disadvantage because not only can a creditor or a plaintiff in a lawsuit recover from partnership property, but also from an individual general partner's personal assets. The partnership tax treatment. The partnership is not responsible for paying taxes. Rather, it must file an informational tax return. The partnership is considered to be a pass-through entity and the, and, and the partners pay taxes at the individual level rather than the corporate level. This is similar to the sole proprietorship and therefore the individual partners need only file quarterly tax returns. Let's discuss the joint venture. A joint venture is a partnership that is restricted in scope to a specific business transaction. In the case of the filmmaker, the purpose is to produce a specific film project. A joint venture is common, common among co-writers who, who write a script together or producers who jointly option property rights. Each partner is still liable for the acts of the other partners. Let's talk about limited partnerships. 
A limited partnership is a more common form of business used to raise funding. The limited partnership is a form of passive investor financing. In a limited partnership, there must be at least one general partner and one or more limited partners. The creative control belongs to the general partner filmmaker. Who, the general partner is usually the filmmaker. Because the limited partners are not allowed to take part in the management and operations of the business, but merely serve solely as passive investors, the filmmaker maintains control of the film project. The creativity is not impacted by the investors, and the filmmaker can be free to create the film they envision. Only the general partner has authority to bind the business to obligations. This is a benefit that the limited partnership has over other active investor vehicles, such as, the corp such as the corporation, general partnerships, and member managed limited liability companies. In the filmmaking industry, creative control is of the utmost importance. However, the general partners are under a fiduciary duty to account to the limited partners on how money was spent, collected, and dispersed. Let's discuss the limited liability for the limited partners. The limited partners contribute, contribute money capital or property to the limited partnership, but they do not take part in the management and operation of the business. The limited partners only have liability up to the amount they invest in the business. Most, if not all, the capital contributions in the limited partnership come from the limited partners in the form of cash investments. There is unlimited liability for general partners. The general partners manage and operate the business. The general partner has unlimited liability, even extended beyond the limited partnership's property to the general partner's personal assets. For this reason, most limited partners have corporations or member managed limited liability companies that serve as the general partner. The general partners of a limited partnership may consist of individuals, sole proprietorships, general partnerships, member managed limited liability companies, or corporations. To note, the limited partnership itself, consistent, consisting of the limited partner's investments, will be primarily responsible for all tort and contract liabilities, and only if the limited partnership entity cannot fulfill these liabilities will the general partner's personal assets become responsible. There are security laws that apply to limited partnerships. The sale of a limited partnership interest is considered a sale of a security. State and federal security laws apply to limited partners because they do not take an active part in the management and operation of the business. Limited partners are passive investors in the business. Interest in limited partnerships are in fact securities and must be registered with the federal and state governments unless an exemption from registration is applicable. A private placement memorandum for the filmmaking project may serve as the required disclosure document for a private non-public offering of a security and which will serve to avoid allegations of any fraud or misleading information presented to the investors. Otherwise, a prospectus is required for a public offering. If the filmmaker violates the federal and state security laws, the filmmaker may be forced to return all investment funds, incur substantial fines, and be held criminally liable. This, the services of a knowledgeable attorney is highly suggested. The limited partnership does not, in fact, have to be formed in order for the filmmaker to approach investors with an offer to invest in the business. In such cases, the filmmaker can wait until the business is fully funded to form the limited partnership. In this scenario, the offering will be an offer to an offer to invest in units of a limited partnership to be formed. Nonetheless, this type of investment offer is still considered to be a security and the filmmaker must comply with state and federal security laws. The formalities of limited partnerships. The articles of organizations is required to be filed with the Secretary of State in order to form a limited partnership. The partners must enter into must enter into a limited partnership agreement, which is highly suggested to be in writing. So long as the limited partnership offering to share in the limited partnership is a private offering pursuant to security laws, the limited partnership agreement does not have to be filed with the government. Upon formation, a certificate of limited partnership will need to be filed with the Secretary of State and signed by all general partners. 
The disclosure of the limited partner's identity is not needed and can be kept confidential for the most part. The term of the limited partnership is limited for a specific time, and therefore this business structure is more suitable for individual project financing or a slate of films rather than for ongoing business financing, which is better served by a corporation investment vehicle. As compared to a corporation, the limited partnership does not need to hold regular meetings and does not need to maintain minutes of those meetings. The limited partnership tax treatment. Like general partnerships, the limited partnership tax treatment is considered to be a pass-through entity. The limited, partners, the limited partnership is not taxed at the business level, but rather the individual partners. Both general and limited partners are taxed at their individual rate. The profits and losses are allocated to the individual partners who are responsible to pay taxes or deduct the losses on their personal tax returns. The Internal Revenue Service will tax the individual partners on their share of the profits regardless of whether those amounts are in fact distributed or not. The use of the limited partnership entity can reduce the amount of taxes and avoid the double taxation effect of a corporation. However, limited partners can lose limited liability status. If the limited partner becomes involved in the management of the business, then they will lose their limited liability protection and be considered general partners. The limited partners will no longer only be liable for up, their, up to their investment, but would then incur more liability and their personal assets would be at risk. Just to note, a limited partnership, an LP, is not the same as a limited liability partnership, LLP. Just as an aside note, the limited partnership is a different type of business entity than the, than the limited liability partnership. Pursuant to state statutes, the limited liability partnership is not available for filmmakers and only is available to professional uses amongst attorneys, accountants, and architects. Now that we have covered the advantages and disadvantages of the different kinds of partnerships that can be utilized as a production company and as an investment vehicle, you can be more aware of the legal issues involved. Stay tuned for more useful information. If you like these videos, please, please feel free to comment, subscribe, or leave us a thumbs up on YouTube. And please feel free to forward this video to any friends or family members. If you have any questions, or if you would like a consultation with a lawyer, I encourage you to contact the Sterling firm at 310-498-2750 or send us an email at info at the sterling firm .com. And obviously, the best and most generous way to say thank you is to refer a client or to give a positive referral. Please check out the Yelp page and the LinkedIn profile to make a positive refer referral. Thank you for allowing me to be of service and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.